Okay, uh, what we're going to do today is um, we're going to kind of look at the civil engineering slash architectural site plan workflow. Um, we're going to do that using AutoCAD. Um, so as I was just mentioning to Brian, or Brain, um, the, there are two possible workflows. There's the workflow where you literally model everything um, right there in Revit. Or there's a workflow where you um, draw it in AutoCAD, or you have your civil engineer draw it in AutoCAD, and then all you have to do is just insert it behind your plan. Um, so we're, we're going to kind of have to do a few things here, um, and we're emulating it from the side of the civil engineer in this case. So we're putting on our civil engineering hats today. Um, so basically what happens is, um, let's kind of uh, pretend that our client gives us uh, a sketch of sort of how they want the site plan to be laid out. Um, generally speaking, as an architect, we might go into AutoCAD and do it ourselves and then hand it off to the, to the civil engineer to sort of coordinate to match it. Um, or if it's very simple, you could just have the civil engineer do it. Um, there are a bunch of different ways that it shakes out, but the one key element that must happen is we need to give the civil engineer the footprint of our building. Because without the footprint of our building, the civil engineer doesn't really have anything to draw around. Does that make sense? Right? So it needs to be fully coordinated up to, up to the actual footprint. So um, the way I'm going to do that here is to just open up my schematic first floor plan because it's the simplest plan and it has um, accurate exterior walls and everything like that. So, and it, and it, mine's not totally perfect and totally fully developed. Like some of you guys already have your columns and overhangs and everything like that already in your plan. Um, that's fine. Uh, but I'm just using this kind of as an illustrative thing so that you can see what the workflow is. Um, so anyway, let's export this. In order to export a plan, you have to go to um, the R. Actually, pause for a moment. Something I want you to do real quick is to turn off the uh, color scheme just because it creates really like weird and annoying um, hatches in AutoCAD. So you can turn this off temporarily and then do this. So I'm going to go to R, Export, and then CAD Formats, and then export a DWG. So, yes. If I have uh, my grid work and dimensions, should I turn that off before I export? You don't have to. Um, you could leave it on if you want. Um, we'll just turn it off in AutoCAD. Okay, so we're going to click on DWG. Um, and make sure that it's not the sheet view that you have open. Make sure you actually open the, the, the view itself, not the sheet. Um, so if you have the view open, it's going to default to that view. And that's fine. You can just hit Next. Okay, so I wanted you to do that so you don't get caught up on selecting the actual view. So um, then you go to just navigate wherever you want to drop it. So I'm going to drop mine. Um, I'll set it up like this. So we have, um, did I put my, pro my sample project in here? I don't think I did. I think I put my sample project in, the, in this drive. Let's see. No, I'll, well, I'll drop it here anyway. So um, generally, I like to use the AutoCAD 2010 version, um, and I like to shorten the name so it doesn't have the project name. Or you could just switch it to automatic short, and it'll just kind of cut the name down. That's your option. Um, then hit OK. So what that'll do is it'll create an AutoCAD file just for that plan. So here I can say um, open. I can navigate to that location. I don't know why date modified isn't just a default on every window. Okay, so you click uh, that and then you uh, just open it up. And this is what you get is a normal floor plan in AutoCAD. Now, notice um, you guys have. Uh, um, you guys recall Natalie always complaining about, or not Natalie, um, Naffy always uh, complaining about the, uh, all the extra lines that come out of Revit when, when you're working uh, in AutoCAD, right? So um, the key is if you switch it to um, course view, 
you're going to get very simple just exterior line only floor plans. If you don't switch it to coarse view, you're going to get stuck with, um, oh, I have a template on, hang on. None. Um, if you don't switch it to coarse view, you're going to get all these extra lines with hatches and everything else that shows up inside. And you don't want to see all that. So um, just make sure you switch it to coarse if you want to keep it simple. Okay, so um, that's exporting a floor plan as an architectural background. Uh, what questions do you have? Okay, next up we're going to start um, implementing the adaptation of our site plan into an AutoCAD background to reinsert back into our Revit model.